What have we got in here? What's going on toy fans, it's Aaron here at Empire Toys 1138 and we are here in the London toy shop at the Enfield or Cruise Hill Toy Fair and we're going to go around and try and find a few bits and bobs, see what's going on, a few sellers, a few of our friends selling here. So we're going to go check out their stores, we're going to go check out their little booth here, the London Toy Shop's booth. Uh, Kit Heart Collectibles also has a Funko booth across the uh, the hallway from here and we're going to go check that out and we're just going to go see if we can find any cool little bits anyway guys enjoy the video and hopefully we'll find some bits and bobs so anyway see you in a bit Another friend of the channel, another friend of Toy Division is Ditesh at Kid at Heart Collectibles and this is his little Funko booth. I know we all collect vintage and hunt action figures and everything, but I do like a little Funko, I'm not gonna lie. And uh, he's got a great little booth set up here full of loads of awesome Funko Pops. So if you are looking for them, come down to Cruise Hill and he'll have you sorted with some amazing Funkos because he's got some cool bits here. All right, Stranger Things Funkos are always, always cool. We've got other stuff here, we've got Disney, we've got Star Wars, Pokemon there and everything. There are some cool bits. Look, you've got Audley there from the Little Shop of Horrors. How cool is that? So he's got some grade A pops. We're gonna go take a dive into Kevin's lock up here. And we're hopefully gonna find a few bits. Got Dan with me, behind me there. And uh, wow, yes, this is a, a very loaded container and there is stuff literally everywhere. So we're gonna dive in where we've got bags down here, look, straight away. Team and T, we've got He-Man in there. So we're gonna have a look underneath. There's some star common the mask The telltale sign of a, the bottom of a boulder hill. Boulder hill in there. <laughs> we're gonna have a great time looking in here so hopefully we'll find a few bits no we've even got some drumsticks there there you go down look at that drumstick holder so uh let's go find some toys look at that all those old quavers and yeah. so we got the old walkers packs for when they redid the styles special edition it's amazing someone kept all these got all the packs there we set off and got the Tazos. That's pretty rad. Ooh, Tazos. Yeah. It's pretty cool that all the packs are there. Yeah, yeah. A few more bits under there. The big doll bits. Man, there is a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Some more little loose figures back there. Wow. So much stuff in here. And we will have to uh, try and look for all these boxes. Oh, look. Power Ranger. That money box thing, isn't it? Yeah, look, all these tubs up here. There's tubs of accessories there. All we've got in there, cars and stuff. All tubs of bits and bobs. Oh, there's so much here, Dan. Yeah. Look down here, some loose figures on the floor. The looses. Ah, bags of everything. Just a Hulk in there. Not even toys we're looking at, display stands. Get your minifigures on that. Let's see if Ryan won't have got any interest. I'll be here soon, won't he? There's some accessories and stuff up there. Oh but, man, but uh, would, would, that, would that be a good Who Goes There stand? That would be a lovely Who Goes There stand. Yeah, you can, yeah. That would be amazing. Oh. What have we got in here? It's like a can of Batman and stuff in here, I think. Yeah. Oh. Car in there, it's pretty cool. 
So do you have any more of the insert pieces for this? Or is this just as it is? That's pretty cool. Is that from the new Batman? Must be. That is Batman. Dude, yeah, if, if, if you're so is to me, I'll buy that. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, just take it next door and you go and ask. We'll sort of sign out. Cool, kind of yeah, Batman stuff in there. That'll display some. There's some nice, nice. bits. Nice. Gotta have to turn the uh, torch on to see what's in here. Oh, that's Star Wars. Look, a couple of bits of mask in here. Some Star Trek. Put some body <laughs> Got a Jubak. Got a few bits in there. Nothing uh, set in the world of light, but still. Pretty cool to see. My famous word there, pretty cool. Bit of gun there from doors. Question, I've got to try and put the box, the lid back on this now. We've got in there, spider and helmet. Look, there's just bags of stuff everywhere. Trying to work out what space jam is from the new film. Got some top trumps in there. G.I. Joe figure there from the uh, film, Snake Eyes film. God. What are you thinking? Um, I'm overwhelmed with stuff. Yeah. So I've got my torch because it's a bit dark down this end of it. But there's loads of stuff. Kev, you need to get a bit more organisation going on in here though, I have to admit. But yeah. There's stuff everywhere. Hopefully, we can try. There's a few bits in there. There's some Nerf guns or something in there. Hmm. Space helmet. Oh, that's what you were talking about earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, I love it. I absolutely love that. Oh, man. Hoping we still get on to what's that in there. Oh, that's Doctor Who in there. Box of figures here. Look, we've got Captain Planet here. Right. Star Trek. Got uh, Robin Hood. I see some Thundercats. Jurassic World. Planet of the Apes? It might be. Oh yeah. No, it's not Planet of the Apes. I thought I was looking at that, but I might be completely wrong. I oh yeah, that's the um, Tim Burton one, isn't it? The remake. I don't know where that's from. Uh, Pretty weird. Don't know. <laughs> Ghost. Yeah. You know what's annoying about these sort of boxes, mate? All gone. The bits that I'm interested in. Probably right at the bottom. Are, 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 yeah, have fallen through the gaps of all the figures that I don't get. Yeah, care you about. know, right? You know it. I've got to smash my fingers up to, uh, to get to it. Ah, oh, that's legit. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Power Rangers. There's probably. Uh, what's that? Uh, that's a net that's thingy in it. Mimp. mimp yeah. Like, series 77 or whatever it is. Man. Hey, little Rick Steiner. Hey. We've got a belt, got belt in there as well. Nice. Oh, oh that's, that's new. new, new belt. What's this dude? Hello. What was that? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, he's got like a bottle in his hand. Yeah. And he did come after me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to decide to be our little yeah. Andy mascot. <laughs> that's just so much. There's <laughs> so much shit in there, man. Oh god, it's a Texas tornado. It's a really deep box. It's so deep. <laughs> Unnecessary deep for these figures. Oh, look, that's oh, a supernatural shield. Supernatural shield there. Bit of accessory rise. That's another Rick. Oh, it might be the same Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon flies. Oh, the worst toy line in the world. Oh, yeah, there's your Thundercat. Yeah, that's what I was looking at there. Oh, another wrestling belt. Oh, no, more belts, more belts. Oh god. It's a hoog. Oh, we've got a. Uh, Ah, Braystar. Braystar, that's pretty cool. Bit exciting. And just a whole lot. God, it's just a lot of everything. The Crazy Wolf from Doctor Who, that's actually pretty cool. That's a very cool toy. I reckon that's one of the best Doctor Who toys. It's probably one of the best um, wolf, wolf toys. Because yeah. it's fully articulated. I know what that's from. Isn't that like some chat me thing? Yeah, it's like chat me, or it's like an early learning stuff. Yeah, but they are pretty they're decent, aren't they? London Toy Fair, Enfield Toy Fair, Bruce Hill Toy Fair, whatever you want to call it. Uh, me and Dan had a really good day. It was really nice. So thank you, Kevin, for putting on a wicked show. And I hope that, you know, all the sellers there had a really good day um, because we had a fun little trip up there. Had a nice little breakfast, as we always do. A nice breakfast bat. Went down well with a nice coffee. Um, Toy-wise and pickups, I didn't really pick much up. I was um, I don't know, very selective of what I wanted and I just couldn't find anything that uh, took my fancy. 
Uh, Kevin very nicely opened up his lockup for us, so we got to go in and see that, which was pretty cool. So uh, I enjoyed looking through uh, all that stuff, as you saw in the video, there was so much in there. But um, the only things I actually grabbed from there was a couple of uh, Mighty Max accessories. So you've got this turtle uh, here, and uh, you've got the double-headed dragon there. So that's all I picked up, really. Uh, while we were there, um, me, Dan, uh, and uh, got a message from someone uh, looking to sell some bits, and one of the bits in there is what I would class as a grail item for myself. So once I knew that was up, my kind of in my head of spending was like, oh, I might have already spent money on that. So uh, hopefully when I uh, next weekend, we can uh, show that off if I get it in time. If not, then hopefully I can just show it off as soon as possible. Because like guys, this is a grail piece for me. So super stoked to have got that. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm sorry there wasn't that much talking in the actual toy fair but there was loud and loud music being played and all that sort of stuff um, we will see you very very soon for another video not too sure when my next uh, toy fair toy hunting but as soon as the weather gets more nice i'll be back down the car route sales so hopefully next weekend will be the next one guys take it easy happy toy hunting and i'll see you very very soon peace